Hi, I'm Amelia Milton and this is Outdoor Scotland. <laughs> Oh. Right, we're in Bridge of Cali today. We're taking two days on uh, the Catherine Trail. Um, it looks like summer, but it's actually going to be more like minus four or minus five tonight. So it's a cold one. We'll see how we get on camping. We'll be on and off the trail a couple of times using the road when it suits us. A uh, big climb to the end of Glen Shee. We'll see how we get on. This has just started. First we climb, first information board. The cat and tail's full of them. Or should I say, the cat and tail's full of it. Up on my way. Nice forest. Had a bit quiet. Now we're on the downhill. Making that, thank you. Thanks, Mr. Keep it So we're between uh, Kirk Michael and Enoch Do now, and uh, you can see it's become a bit wintry. So getting ready for our bread climb, and we're going to have some lunch. Classic. So we're just starting the big climb uh, above Enoch Do. We've got about four kilometres to the to the bothy and uh, that's going to be a bit of a grunt fest. We'll see how we've got on. There, it is quite wintry, it is cold, so we want to keep on moving. Snowing again. Looks like soft hail. We could recycle on this bit, but I'm actually enjoying the walk. We're at the bothy now, and uh, we'll be heading off in a wee minute. We're about three kilometres to go that way to the road, and we've come four or five kilometres that way from uh, the other road. So Glen Shee, that direction. A nice wee bothy. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look at it. There we go. Absolutely perfect. So it's a lunchtime bothy as opposed to spending the night bothy. Uh, but as usual, 
with these things you just never know how you're feeling when you arrive here. There we go. There we go. That's what's called upper lunch hut. There we go. Nice. We're at our high point now and you got a good view running into Glen Shee. That was exhausting coming up from the from the bothy. Uh, but it took about maybe about 40 minutes. Jim had to come back and push my bike from it, it's so heavy. And I was extremely slow, so uh oh we don't have to go all the way to Auckland Tapo tonight. We could we could camp closer if we're really tired and I'm feeling tired now. But a downhill hill run into Spittle Eagle and she will definitely cheer me up. Well, a few things happened, mainly running out of battery on the GoPro. Um, so we ended up coming down the road in Glen Shee as opposed to down the Catherine Trail. I was getting pretty tired. So so I used that used the road just to take the pressure off. So here we are now at Loch Ock and Tapo and uh, we'll get a better view later. Jim's tent's just over there. We've lit a fire here. Here's the Basha windbreak thing, and I'll be sleeping on, under it later. Oh, mind you. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Might might end up in the gym later. It's a one-man tent. It's a one-man tent. He doesn't understand how small I am. So, I'm all organised. Uh, it has been a very tiring day, I felt. I uh, underestimated the difference it would make carrying a whole load of camping stuff on a mountain bike. Well, there we go. Live and learn. Live and learn is what I say. Anyway, see you later. So, we're still at the campsite. It's starting to get dark, so I'll give you a quick tour. Uh, what have we got? So, uh, this is my camp area. So, I've got my tarp up. It's sagging a wee bit, so I'll probably sort it out a bit. Not the easiest to put up here. We've mm. uh, got a fire going, which is absolutely fantastic. We'll keep that going for a while. Let's go over here. Uh, my bike sitting there. This is Loch Auk and Tapo. It is absolutely stunning. Jim's, Jim's uh, camp area. Jim's bike. Jim's new tent. The snug pack. Yes. Macho, very macho uh, expression there. Jim down at the river doing his dishes there and here's a view over to the little boathouse on Ockentapel. It is absolutely lovely. Of course of course we wanted uh, it to be more like spring or summer, but I can't have everything. It is stunning. We're loving it. A bit too cold though, a bit too cold, but we're going to warm up soon enough. Right. Good morning. Start of day two on the Catherine Trail. Uh, slept quite well actually last night. Must have been minus whatever, minus three. Uh, quite windy. We've had some more snow, but uh, I'm going to get up and light the fire in a minute. Get some breakfast. See what Jim's saying to it. See the lock down there. Oh, through my, through my bivy. <laughs> Light the fire there. And then we'll get ourselves moving. Yeah, it's a fantastic thing. Feeling a bit sore. Definitely picked up an injury yesterday, falling off the bike at one point. So I've got a big bit of thigh pain. Aye. But I th today will be easier. Yesterday it was more tiring than it should have been. And I should have got myself a bit fitter for it. But hey. 
These are the things that happen, and I never filmed enough, but we'll see if we could sort that today. Okay, let's get the fire going. There we go. Look at that. Look at that weather. Aye. Is it embarrassing, is it? Aye, we're all getting ready to go. Breakfast is getting hard. Woo! There's the snow from last night lying on the basher. And it's snowing again just now. I'll have to do a wee bit of a repair on the bike. Get that pannier rack fixed back on properly. Oh yes! That is good, isn't it? So we're uh, halfway between Ayleth and uh, Bridge of Cali. We decided to bypass Ayleth. I, another push up a hill was going to kill me, so... <laughs> Aye, the Catherine Trail's always going to be there. We'll come back another day. We'll come back another day to complete it, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, Bridge of Cali's about half an hour away, so Jim says. Well, let's just call that 45 minutes for me. So that's us just finished. We wimped out a wee bit about going to Ayleth. Back at Bridge of Cali now. I've had a coffee, I'm feeling a lot better. Aye, the Catherine Trail's always going to be there. We'll come back and do it another day.